Good afternoon, UCF Knights. I'm Holly Stouffer, and here's a quick look at what's making news on Thursday, February 11th, 2016. Let's get started. So the Confederate flag controversy is no stranger to being the center of attention all over the country. But with the introduction of State Bill 154 to the Florida Legislature, this issue hits closer to home. The bill would ban the Confederate flag on public property in the state of Florida. Reporter Daniel Byrd explains that in order to become law, this bill has some work to do. Senate Bill 154 would prohibit the Confederate flag from being flown on public land, like UCF. While it's often difficult for Democrats to have the upper hand in the Republican-rich Senate, the bill has one thing going for it. The sponsor and co-sponsor of the bill, Senators Geraldine Thompson and Dwight Bullard, sit on two of the four committees that will look at the bill. Robert Castanello is an associate professor in the History Department at UCF. He says that an issue with this bill is that proponents for keeping the flag have a different attachment to it. I mean, there's a variety of reasons. I mean, so the, one of the false notions about the idea of what the Confederate flag means is the assumption that it only means one thing. Castanello explains that many people in the South relate the flag to their roots. But there's some people who support the flying of the Confederate flag under some um, impression that the Confederate flag represents some sort of Southern nostalgia. Marklene Joshim is the relations director of the Black Student Union. She says that while she would like to see the flag come down, her feelings won't be hurt if the bill doesn't pass, because it's not enough to break down prejudice. If it doesn't pass, um, my feelings personally would not be hurt. I would kind of see that happening. but. I think that we should look towards more steps in terms of equality. But with Republicans heavily outweighing the Democrats in all four committees, Casanello doesn't have too much faith in the bill. I would bet all kinds of money that it will not be passed. There's no chance. Members of the Senate have 29 days left in the session to pass the bill. Plus, this week we've kept you up to date with UCF's Love Week on campus. And today, end in the week-long festivities with a UCF spin on a Mardi Gras parade. Students lined up in the Student Union for a chance to win prizes and see a Mardi Gras float make its way around the atrium. People could also take masks and beads that were being given out by Student Union workers. All right, you fantasy sports lovers, you'll want to hear this. A bill is attempting to pass through the Florida State Senate that would crack down on fantasy sports operators. The bill would require all fantasy sports sites like FanDuel and DraftKings to obtain a license to operate in the state of Florida. According to the bill, the initial application fee for the license would cost $500,000. The proposed law would also require operators to provide proof that payments to participants are made. The bill prevents employees from sharing confidential information with third parties as well. Today in sports, the UCF softball team opens their season against Liberty as part of the UCF Knights Invitational. The team, ranked 17th in the nation, will play five games in the tournament, including a huge matchup with national powerhouse Alabama on Friday. The Knights are the two-time defending American Athletic Conference champions. And here's a quick look at our weather forecast today. It's a bit warmer than it was yesterday. We have a high of 65 and a low of 45 with a 0% chance of rain. And tomorrow looks like it will be beautiful, a high of 74 and a low of 53, which means Friday is your chance to get out and enjoy some nice weather to end your work week. Still no rain to worry about either. Well, Knights, that's all the time we have for now. Be sure to check out our newscast on Friday at 1.30 on Bright House Channel 734. And check back here tomorrow for another nightly news update. I'm Holly Stouffer. Thanks for watching and have a great night.